In case you guys missed it, InfoWars' own Schroyer was arrested at the impeachment hearings earlier this week. If you haven't seen it, let's take a quick look. Jerry Nadler and the Democrat Party are committing treason against this country. And you can kick me out, but he's the one committing crimes. You are, Jerry Nadler. You're the one committing treason. America's done with this. America's sick of the treason committed by the Democrat Party. We're not going to sit here and watch you run an impeachment and remove our vote. We voted for Donald Trump, and they're simply removing it because they don't like it. Americans are sick of your impeachment, Shanna. They're sick of the Democrat treason. We know who committed the crimes, and it wasn't Trump. Trump is innocent. Needless to say, they didn't know right away that this was Owen from InfoWars, and as you know, they probably don't like unknowingly <laughs> promoting InfoWars. Judging by these headlines, you couldn't tell that they, or you could tell that they didn't know yet. Guardian, protester disrupts opening of Trump impeachment hearing. The Hill, pro-Trump protester disrupts impeachment hearing, accuses Nadler of treason. News.com, Australia, heckler derails Donald Trump impeachment hearing, he's innocent, and a whole bunch of others. So I was, I was on top of this. I'm a news reader. I'm with it. I know the headlines wouldn't be so friendly if they did know that he was from InfoWars. So I waited a few hours after seeing a bunch of these, grabbed the ones that I could, and uh, checked back once I saw that the info was made. I knew it wouldn't take long. I knew that they'd be changing titles and that new titles would be coming out. Uh, that weren't going to be so friendly and just calling him a protester and stuff like that. So here's one I found that I was able to find a shockingly bad article on. Trump impeachment hearing pro-Trump InfoWars host who called for Obama to be lynched, thrown out of inquiry, host has pushed debunked conspiracy theories to smear Democrats. Now when you see a headline like that, uh, from any side, that instead of just giving you the info of what happened, goes above and beyond to tell you how horrible a person is, uh, it's really likely that they don't want you to look into who that person is, and they don't want you to hear what they have to say, they just want you to take their word for it. So let's see if we can back up this claim in the article that Owen Schroyer called for a lynching of Obama. Knowing what I know about Owen Schroyer, I'm going to go ahead and say unlikely. <laughs> the eight ball, I wish I had one. I have a roll of duct tape. The roll of duct tape, I shook it and it said, Outlook not so good. <laughs> a host on the far right U.S. conspiracy and disinformation website InfoWars has been removed from the latest impeachment hearing by police after interrupting House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler with pro-Donald Trump messages. The interruption came from a host on the fringe conservative website who led a racist call earlier this year for the lynching of Barack Obama, America's first African-American president. Okay, who's not going to know who Barack Obama is? Don't there's a rule in writing where like you don't have to say the state of New York, you don't have to say Los Angeles, California, you don't have to say Ontario after Toronto because it's just known. You don't have to say London, England. You don't have to say the first black president, Barack Obama. I also love hearing their dis anyone's description of InfoWars. It's always entertaining to me. Now I wouldn't call them far right. Uh conspiracy, okay, you could not definitely I think everybody would agree with that. Disinformation. I'd like to know how you prove that something's disinformation. You would have to mean that you have evidence that they're purposely distorting the facts or distributing false facts, usually on behalf of a government. And the problem with that, I would see, is that they were against Obama and the Clintons and the Bushes and stuff like that. Interesting claim. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, usually they say that about Joe Rogan, not Alex Jones. He's a disinformationist. He's feeding you lies that the deep state wants you to believe. All right. <laughs> Americans are sick of your impeachment scam. Trump is innocent. I should say this in Owen Schroyer voices next time. Said the protester Owen, Owen Schroyer. Mr. Schroyer had attack, attracted attention to himself earlier this year with a racist call to lynch Mr. Obama, whom he called treasonous during an interview with the far-right website Breitbart. Everything's far-right. He cited a conspiracy theory that is pushed with no evidence by far-right actors as proof of the former president's alleged misdeeds. So, so far this sounds horrible. If you don't know who Owen Troyer is, uh, he sounds like a monster. It's almost, you know, almost a little too ridiculous to be true. I mean, I don't like telling people what uh, type of politics a website is. If I'm writing an article, I'm not going to say the far left CNN or the borderline communist MSNBC. If you don't know who that is, then I'm not going to just be the person who's just like, this is the definitive... Breitbart is definitively alt-right, 
or far right. You don't need to look into it or make up your own mind. Just listen to me. So we have two claims here, though. One that said he uh, that Owen said that Obama should be lynched, and then there's the other claim that there's a conspiracy theory he's pushing with no evidence. So they're hoping you'll just stop there. That's that's my experience with articles like this. Most people stop at the title or the first paragraph. Most people don't even click on the actual article. So getting past the title and the first paragraph is a big. Uh, you'll they can do they can track how far you've read by how much that you see of the page. Trust me. It's a conspiracy theory. They know where your eyes are looking. <laughs> so to really hammer it home, knowing that you probably haven't even made it that far, let's throw in some Nazi imagery, you guys. Uh, the far-right plot to normalize white supremacy in the U.S. We can't say he's a Nazi, but we can put in swastikas and stuff uh, right below claiming that he's racist. And that's, ju that's just happened to have been there. Either this person really believes this stuff, or they hate Owen Troyer so much that they're willing to say whatever they can to prevent anyone from looking into him or the claims that they've made. But the claims, they tackle this in one quote from Owen, Owen here. Here's my best Owen voice. Folks, Obama was emailing Hillary Clinton and her illegal server under a secret name. That came out in emails. And he claimed he didn't know she had it. Barack Obama is treasonous. He belongs in jail. He belongs in Guantanamo Bay. I mean, look, I'm not saying this should happen. Barack Obama, you know, find the, find the tallest tree and rope. More Owen Schroer impressions to come. I promise you, I'm just working that out. Now, I'm not an InfoWars sycophant over here. I'm not going to say that everything they've ever said is true or, or the reverse either way. But it sounds to me like he's saying Barack Obama is guilty of treason, which is the death penalty, and like an old-timey style, a tree and a rope, that sort of thing. That's what I would think. Because I've I've heard enough to know that he's. I'm not going to listen to some some guy who's like explicitly racist like that. And and that's why the claims of the, the official Democrat claims of Trump being treasonous is such a big deal. Because you're basically saying that he should be killed for what he's done. So the problem is here. You have to basically assume, uh, based on what the story is here. Assume that Owen's racist, which I don't think he is, because he did also say in this. I quote. I don't. I'm not saying this should happen, end quote. And I do, I would probably assume that he regrets saying it the way he did, but it's pretty irresponsible for the writer and whoever writes the headlines to take one interpretation of that that's not the obvious one, because if you know anything about treason, you know it's punished by the death penalty, to just say that it's racist and make a headline saying he's calling for a lynching. It's a pretty obvious trope that treason gets the death penalty, and most people would think in an old-timey fashion, like a hanging or a guillotine or something like that. And that entire part is completely objective, or subjective, sorry. What isn't subjective is this claim. Quote, he cited a conspiracy theory that has been pushed with no evidence by far-right actors as proof of the former president's alleged misdeeds. I'm afraid that's just not true. <laughs> 100% Obama used a pseudonym in the Clinton emails. I know this. I read the emails. You probably know it. And here are some sources to prove it for anyone else who doesn't believe it. And before we get to that, though, oh, I got you. Patreon, $1 a month. You get extra Andrew Says content. And you support me, the guy who doesn't get paid anything by anyone. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can actually see my videos. 90% of these, I won't go 90, what's 1,000 out of 50,000? 150th, 2%, 98%, I guess, of people don't see my videos. It's a, it's a, it's a fun time. So Daily Mail, how is this not classified? Obama used a code name to talk with Hillary on her pers personal email as new FBI records reveal that her top aide, Huma, was shocked by unsecure messages. Politico. Obama used a pseudonym in emails with Clinton. FBI documents reveal. CNBC WikiLeaks um, reveals Barack Obama's personal email address. And if you look further in the article, they talk about uh, the FBI documents. So here's the problem. And, and the rest of the article talks about Pizzagate, shows a clip of a guest who says something about energy beams using to split a hurricane in, uh, I forget where, whatever. You don't have to believe conspiracy theories. Nobody's forcing you to believe this. But this journalist, and I use that term lightly, who doesn't know about the emails, is just like, oh, he called for a lynching of Obama. I come across this sort of stuff so often. 
They don't have any idea what they're talking about. They see the same recycled headlines from people who think the same thing, from outlets that have all the exact same talking points. And you may not think that you're spouting talking points. You may think that you're informed on these things because you've seen all these articles and people have told you the same thing. But then it's like, how do I know what you're going to say about this topic before you even tell me? How do I know the points you're going to use to try to refute my knowledge on the subject before you even say anything about it? It's because I've actually read the things, okay? It's because I've actually read the emails. How do I know that uh, Owen Troyer didn't call for a lynching of Obama, okay? Because I know generally what he says. I would have seen that. How do I know that Obama used a pseudonym in these emails? Because I've read the emails, okay? I don't know how you're a journalist for a major publication and you're just going on like, oh, well, I trust all these other sources, so you should just trust me. Even though it's just a, a filter of hearsay. with It's a Brita filter where you pour in the information and you've got 15, if you've got 15 of the same layer, the same amount of, of stuff's going to get through the filters. It doesn't matter how many filters you have if it's all the same. Oh, Pizzagate, there was no basement, you guys. There's no sex trafficking going on. Uh, Russians uh, conspired with Trump to win the election. Oh, he's using pro quid pro quo. Joe Biden never did this. Hunter Biden... How come I know conspiracy theories, you guys? They're a conspiracy theorist. You can't believe them. They're from this outlet. Don't believe them. How... All these things that you pertain to know, which happen to be all the same things all the news outlets you agree with say. I'm supposed to just agree with you. But all it takes is a little bit of digging to prove that this person doesn't know what they're talking about. I'll just take, I'm supposed to just take your word for it because you write for The Independent. You said he was racist. You said he believes in conspiracy theories. You put some pictures of people burning crosses and, and hoisting swastikas up. Oh, case closed, you guys. Don't got to look into this at all, even though I have no idea what I'm talking about. It gets, it gets, it gets pretty frustrating. Look at another one of his stories. Trump falsely claims FBI report showed effort to overthrow the government, despite it debunking his conspiracy theories. Everything's a conspiracy theory that I don't know anything about. It was debunking his conspiracy theory, you guys, but the Mueller report, this thing about, uh, this thing we made up about Russian collusion two and a half years ago, that's just spot on, came out with absolutely nothing. Uh, I mean, you could argue the Mueller report and this F and this uh, investigator general's report are two, two sides of the same coin here. That would be a better argument if you were just like, this is just the other side version of the Mueller report. It doesn't have any actual crimes. It just has allegations and it's up for you to determine, no, this one's a conspiracy theory. The rest of it and I don't even care if you, like, I've said many times on this channel, I don't care if you like Trump. I'm not telling you to vote for Trump. I'm not telling you to vote for anybody. But there are certain things that are lies, and there's certain things that are obvious truths. And if people don't know what the truth is, then why are you saying it? Why are you writing articles about it? All you had to do, all you had to do was Google this thing about Obama's emails and the sources that you agree with came up. I don't like CNBC. I don't read, I don't like Politico. I do read them. I was going to say I don't, but like I've done so many, uh, <laughs> I've done so many uh, videos with Politico in it. And it turns out that they're sometimes fair. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm not just going to go Politico, far left leaning publication said this, but don't believe them no matter what. Just pick a news story that you guys think is fishy. This is how you get around this stuff. I know I'm ranting here. Just go one layer deep. Whether you're on the subway, the train, an Uber, the toilet, in the tub, which you can picture, some sort of waterproof device. You get the, oh, Pizzagate, uh, Owen Schroyer, Andrew Says. No. Just picture me in the tub eating pizza, guys. Is what I'm <laughs> Just pick a news topic that you think is fishy or you disagree with the mainstream or the common opinion on it or the narrative. Just spend 30 minutes reading about it. Trust me, because that's how you're going to start to know how people get to these wild conclusions ab about anything. It it's, could be something way bigger than Barack Obama's e uh, pseudonym in the emails. But you will find that there's still way too much trust in the media. Like anyone who reads this and is like, okay, that's fine. And you and you could easily do that because people aren't going to come uh, to the defense of InfoWars. No one's going to challenge that. Oh, you're defending InfoWars, are you? Uh, that's ridiculous to minus, to minus 200 points on your Chinese social credit score. <laughs> that's a whole nother, th nother thing. But... When you read a story where you know what the actual facts are, you will be amazed at how 
how many people just take hearsay and take it as word and it all compiles into their general knowledge of what they think they have on the subject. Even the smartest people, you'll start to realize, are taking in these headlines and suspending their critical thinking because they don't want to be uh, they don't want to be the ones who are fooled. They don't want to be the ones um, who have been fooled by the fake news, who have been taking in this information, headline reading, and thinking they know about a subject. Turns out they're very much wrong. So when the target is Info Infowars, it's very easy to write an article like this where you throw in a bunch of stuff, you throw in hurricanes with laser beams, you throw in Pizzagate, you throw in random quotes, you throw in Nazi pictures, and it's very easy for people to be be like, oh, this this is pretty credible, uh, I'm not going to trust this guy. Hey, next time they hear about him, hey, wasn't that the racist guy who said Obama should be lynched and he like pushed like Pizzagate and stuff? No one's going to challenge that stuff. But when you notice or when you know the stories in the news about things like impeachment or things like this or uh, the Greta Thunberg, uh, how dare you, then you're going to start to notice there's a lot more, I don't want to say lying, but there's a lot more obfuscation of the truth in the news stories and they're all being fed into each other. Everybody's just taking that Brita filter drip and they're the nice cold clean water that they get at the bottom. They take a sip and they're like, ah. I'm informed. <laughs>